It's Ella, nice to see you, nice to meet you, etc. I just woke up from a nap, put on a little bit of makeup. I've been finishing up calls for a film that I'm making. It's called Caterpillar Kisses. It's an experimental film on love and heartbreak, the relationship between the different versions of ourself throughout those times. And I'm shooting it in a week. I'm so excited. I'm gonna make a video talking more about it and what to look forward to, but this one, this one, I cannot wait for. Today, I would love to talk about self-care. My friend Maggie started a group chat with a bunch of people, mostly who I don't know and mostly who don't know each other, but the purpose of the group chat is just to share our techniques for taking care of ourselves. It's nice to have friends to motivate you to do things that seem simple but things that make a whole world of a difference when it comes to mental health and physical health. We have a little Google Doc of things, so many things, and I just want to share these things with you. Big props to Maggie for setting this up. I think it's a really great thing to do with just even one friend or if you want to make a group chat with a group of friends or to have people keep adding their friends and their friends, you know? It's nice when it kind of grows in that way. But it's also nice just to have one friend, you know? Just having someone to touch base with throughout the day and to motivate each other to do the things that you want to do and get the things done that you want to get done. Even doing something as seemingly simple as getting out of bed can definitely be a huge task. So, all of these tips are here for you but take them when you're ready. Sometimes it takes a little push, I think, but even if you aren't ready to push yourself, that's okay. It is completely okay and it's totally normal. I'm gonna share these and I hope you enjoy. Brush your teeth and wash your face as soon as you wake up. Go outside for a bit. Getting out of bed is even a start, especially during online school. Put on a fresh change of clothes, an outfit you love, even if it's just for you to see. Make your bed, even if that's too much, even pulling your covers up and propping up your pillows will do, too. Write yourself a love letter. Drink water and eat something. Have a dance party with yourself or with a friend. Write down gratitudes. Take a warm bath with candles, bubbles, or bath bombs if you have any. Make art in any form. Write in a journal. Write your future self a letter. And there's a website they recommend it. www.futureme.org slash letters slash new. Put your phone away for a few hours. Lay on the floor. Build a fort. That's one thing that I've been doing. I got a pop-up tent and it's so fun. Highly recommend if you have enough space. The one that I ordered came with like little fairy lights. And I just put some pillows and I would do work in there or I'd meditate before bed. Buy yourself flowers. Go to the mall and buy a pretzel. Look at Seth Rogen's pottery. Hug yourself, hug a tree, and then lay on the ground underneath the tree and listen to music. If you're procrastinating showering, just run the water and that'll help. The next section is favorite affirmations. It's okay to feel my feelings. I am intact with them. I'm happy to do the work that is necessary to change my life for the better. Through knowing darkness, I can see light. I feel my own inner light glowing. I'm always loved and protected, even when it doesn't feel like it. So there is a list of recipes, which seems super fun. I'll put those in the description because um, I don't know how to like speak links at you. Next section is favorite things to do when you're feeling down or bored. Interpretive dancing, Roblox, oracle or tarot spreads. Put your phone away and watch a lighthearted film. Call a friend. Clean or organize your room and play fun music. Take yourself on a date, which I'm going to do this Valentine's Day and it's part of my bucket list before college bucket list. I love Valentine's Day, you know? I used to be like, oh, single as a Pringle, like, crying on valentine's day but i'm like it's so cute and everyone just gives you like hearts try cooking a new dish experiment with a makeup look explore your neighborhood make a vision board redecorate your room make silly faces at yourself in the mirror watch nostalgic cartoons play dress up look at pictures of sloths that one is me if you couldn't tell i love sloths they just make me laugh next section things to do when you're feeling anxious go on pinterest look up at the sky Take deep breaths or count to 100. Turn off your phone. It's important not to overstimulate yourself. Draw on yourself. Go hug a family member, pet, or a stuffed animal. Drive to a gas station, get fun snacks, and do a little taste test. 
oh that sounds cute in the description i'm gonna put the list of book recommendations that people have the music recommendations that people have podcast recommendations lighthearted movies shows or cartoons the last thing here is favorite safe quarantine activities go to a lookout work out with friends over the phone get weird food from a drive through i really want to get um french toast from Jack in the box. Drive around an area you've never been to. Whoa, look how dark it's getting. Buy a cake, buy a plant. Attend online school somewhere different, like a park or inside a car. And then on the list at the bottom here is the question, what is something you're grateful for? What is something you're grateful for? Drop your name or like a little intro to yourself in the comments. Make a group chat with each other. I think that could be a really cute thing. The sun is escaping beyond the horizon, so I think it is time for us to part ways. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'm excited to tell you more about caterpillar kisses. And that's it, my friends. Farewell.